Greetings to all of our friends and partners across America. Our topic today is, Who Owns the Land of Israel? Think about it. All real estate transactions go to great lengths to determine the identity of the original owner of the land to prevent a legal cloud from being over the title deed. The debate of who owns the land of Israel can be resolved in exactly the same manner. Who was the original owner of this hotly contested strip of real estate on the eastern edge of the Mediterranean Sea? The answer is not Abraham, Isaac, or Jacob. The correct answer is God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. The title deed to Israel reads, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning means the dateless past when God created. The word created in Hebrew is bara, which means to make from nothing. The heavens and the earth. The word earth is the Hebrew word eretz, meaning dry ground. So at the end of Genesis 1 and 1, there is a complete creation. Therefore, God as creator of the earth is the original owner. King David, Israel's prophet, poet, and warrior statesman, puts his pen to parchment and he writes, The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. Psalms 24, 1. For 3,500 years, the land of Israel has belonged to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and their seed forever by an everlasting and eternal blood covenant recorded in the Bible. Israel is the only nation on earth created by a sovereign act of God. Genesis 12, Genesis 13, 15, and 17. The land was given to the Jewish people exclusively and eternally in Genesis 12, 13, and 15. The land God promised includes the modern-day Israel and parts of modern-day Egypt, Syria, Lebanon, and Iraq. The boundaries are in Genesis 15, 18 through 21. The concept that the Palestinians have owned the land of Israel in times past that God Almighty promised Abraham and the Jewish people forever is one of history's greatest frauds. The claim that the Arabs are related to Abraham through Ishmael is a fact. Their claim to the land of Israel through Ishmael is absolutely false. The Bible clearly records that Abraham pled with God to allow Ishmael to own the land. And God sent back a one-word FedEx from heaven saying, No, recorded in Genesis 17, 17, and 18. So our duty is to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I am inspired to send this message to each of you by the fact that months ago, President Trump met with Prime Minister Netanyahu in Washington, D.C. to present the Trump peace proposal. I was there. It was a masterful proposal that gave the Palestinians the opportunity of a better life through a $50 billion investment package. It was an effort that required years of work by the brilliant and talented inner circle of the president. It was made clear at the Washington meeting that this historic peace plan could go into effect within days if the Palestinians immediately reject the plan, the U.S. will be prepared to accept the enactment of Israel's sovereignty over parts of the West Bank within 48 hours. It was made clear that this historic plan could go into effect within days. However, Days have become weeks, and weeks have become months, and months have become years. To be clear, the Palestinians have never owned Judea or Samaria. Never. That Israel will meet with a Palestinian leadership that still supports terrorists and incites violence against the Jewish people is a commentary on Israel's willingness to make every effort to advance peace with her neighbors. 
not a commentary on the Palestinians being deserving on yet another chance at the negotiating table. Our role is to heed the commandment that we pray for the peace of Jerusalem as David commanded. That time is now. If you were blessed by this devotional, would you prayerfully consider a donation to Hagee Ministries to help us continue to take this life-changing message of Jesus Christ to all the world and to every generation? You can give today by going to www.jhm.org. That's God's Word for this week. I'll see you Sunday morning live over the Internet at 8.30 or 11 a.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook, YouTube, or our website at Hagen Ministries. I'll see you Sunday morning.